What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm doing well myself. Probably about a month ago now, um, we had an altercation that took place in Chicago on a Saturday afternoon when a uh, pro-Gaza uh, Palestinian group of probably about 5,000 men strong decided to take a march you know, uh, through Chicago basically protesting Israelis' attacks on Palestinians, okay? When a altercation ensued by the camp uh, brothers called uh, Wi-Fi, you know what I mean? A Hebrew-Israelite camp a situation took place. And this is the results of it. Let's check it out, and then we'll get into the commentary. <laughs> Now, as a result of this particular incident happening, uh, we had a lady, you know, if you can call her that, that decided to basically take her car and ram it into an Israelite camp called ISUPK's, you know, uh, headquarters or what have you. Check this out. Tonight, a woman faces charges after police say she crashed her car into a north side building with a Hebrew Israelite symbol on the front door. IMPD says the woman told officers she did it on purpose. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson spoke to the owners of the building located near 35th and Keystone Avenue who claimed they were attacked. Surveillance video from the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, or UPK, shows a car pulled into the parking lot Friday, stopped, and then moved forward. It stops recording as the owner says the woman reversed and crashed into the building. Indianapolis Metropolitan Police says the woman told officers she purposely did this because of a Hebrew Israelite symbol on the door and referenced her, quote, people back in Palestine. So that's a common misconception that we are affiliated with them in any type of way, that our holy sh signet, that our holy shield, the shield of, da of King David that represents Christ our King, which is associated with the Israeli or the Jewish population, which we have no affiliation with. Kaposh says four children and a father were inside at the time of the crash. No one was injured and the woman was charged with criminal recklessness. 
The FBI and Metro Police are investigating. They're going to be looking for any federal nexus in terms of the crimes that were committed. Uh, they'll be working closely with local police to determine what's the appropriate level of prosecution. Brad Swim is the regional security advisor for the Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis. He says these type of attacks are on the rise nationwide. There's obviously a, a lot of concern even before this weekend. There was heightened, we, we've seen um, increased incidents of anti-Semitism across the country. It's catching a lot of people off guard. My organization, the Secure Community Network, um, has seen a 200% increase in anti-Semitic incidents in October of this year compared to the same month last year. The Israelite School of UPK says it's been targeted three times since October. Since the war has started in the Middle East since October 7th, um, and one of them has been defacing our signs and insignias, and now it is it is becoming more rampant. That's why we wanted to reach out to the Palestinian community and let them know to not uh, point any hostilities to this direction. So uh, for this particular person, that symbol was a bullseye. Uh, and that bullseye, although inaccurate, is a warning sign to all of us. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. The organization says it's working with IMPD, the FBI, and attorneys in hopes to increase the charges against the woman. Although Swim says there has been a rise in crimes across the nation, the Jewish Federation of Indianapolis says the same can't be said for the city. Now, if you notice, that lady that did this, first of all, she should be brought up on charges of uh, terrorism. You understand him for even doing that in the first place? Because I can guarantee you, if she had a ran that into one of those small hats organizations, you understand I me? Mean? Which you know she wasn't going to do. You understand? I can guarantee you that's exactly what would have happened, you know? And as for this anti Semitic, you know what I mean, behavior. So this, this guy was saying, no, there's no anti Semitic behavior. But what I've seen. And these two clips alone is anti-Shemitic behavior. You understand? I mean, where you have Shemites under attack, you understand, from those of the other, you know, nations here. You know, and that's what it all boils down to. Um, these brothers right here, I mean, they have nothing to do with uh, Israeli conflicts against Palestinians. Number one, let's get that understood. I'm going to say it again. These Hebrew Israelites has nothing to do with Israeli conflicts against Palestinians. And that's what that, that all boils down to. So I don't know what the problem is with this particular group over here to your right that wants to point fingers and attack the brothers like that. But like, you know, your man said, hey, you come up against Yahweh Shai, hey, you're going to get put down. That's basically what it boils down to. And with, you know, rightfully so rightfully so you understand but uh these things are going to kick off you know throughout this entire country you know it is already happening you know and so we as a people better start preparing ourselves you know uh because of the nations you know uh the most high already prophesies these things in his word you shall be hated for my name's sake you see, that's basically what it is. I can't remember the scripture right now, paraphrasing, but that's what he said. This is what we're going to start seeing is going to get worse. So for all of us that has the most high has awakened, for us to know who we are and what our heritage is, you understand what I'm saying? This is all a part of the restoration. It comes with the restoration. So I'm saying this to you, trust the process. And that's basically what it boils down to. Do not fear, do not waver, but trust the process because, hey, like I say, it's going to get worse. You know, all you can do is stand and fight. You know, well, like I said, anti-Semitic, no, there's no such thing as that. I, I would say anti-Shemitic, that's what it is. You know, Shem, because it was three brothers. One named Shem, Shem, S-H-I-M, or E-M, however way you want to say it. Then Ham, then Japhat, whatever his name, Japheth, whatever, however way you pronounce that. Three. And like I say, the Shemitic people, you know, come from the seed line of Shem himself. 
Now, I don't know who this Sim is. C E, I'm not C, but S E, S E. I don't know who that is. Just making that clear, okay? Because that's how they spell that. There is a difference, people. There is a difference. If you read Revelations 2 9 and 3 9, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular uh, video right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.